Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a, a walkthrough of iOS 7 beta 1 on the iPhone 4S. So, let's get started with the lock screen. Okay guys, let's get started with the lock screen first. Okay, now let's turn on. As you can see here, we've got a new font here. This is called Helvetica Nui Ultra Light. And um, you can see here it says slide to unlock. And also there's a camera shadow here of course you can now access your notification center and um, control center so you can see it gives you quick toggles and I'll go through that later and now instead of sliding here to unlock where it just says here you can slide anywhere to unlock basically so you can see it look works very well another thing great about this is that as you can see here when I move this the lock screen wallpaper moves with me uh, this is called dynamic wallpapers as they um, state on the Apple website. Another cool thing you can do with this is you can go brightness and wallpapers. You can click here. And if you have panoramas, let's just say, click on that. Let's just wait until it um, works and then look, we'll set it. Let's just set it as lock screen first. Let's go back, pull the lock screen down. Let's go there. And as we move it around, it's moving with us, see, up and down, up and down. So, um, this is a great, nice touch to um, the lock screen in iOS. Um, so the big features were everything like the notification and dashboard down there. And also mm -hmm. now I've got a notification. It's pretty easy, you just don't have to swipe here. All you have to do is swipe now. And yeah, that, that's about it. Um, also, the music artwork comes like this. You got a nice. You can see what, how, or how long the music's been played for. You can control the volume, and it's very beautiful and minimalistic, as you can see. Here. Jonathan Ive has done a great job into this. So, um, this is all for the lock screen, which is of iOS seven. Oh, uh, the first one is um, basically it is called Control Center. This is like SP settings redesigned and Apple has invented it calling control center so let's just check it out all we have to do to provoke it is swipe from the bottom and as you can see you can get a sense of transparency as this is new in iOS 7 as you try to make everything flat there's layers and then there's a parallax to get the wallpaper and quick toggles are basically um, flashlight compass uh, clock, sorry. Um, let's go back. Control center. Swipe up. You can get calculator and camera. Also, you get airplay, music controls, quick toggles, airplay mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Do not disturb screen rotation, and also turn down brightness. Um, something I don't like about this is that you should be able to um switch your controls where you want because I usually use mobile data on and off and I. Don't want to save it so they should they should implement it or give us users the chance to do it ourselves uh, and let's go into settings and just see what dash for uh, control center has to offer us so it's going to control center as you can see here there's only one setting and swipe up from the bottom of the screen to view control center and access on the lock screen so that's it for control center okay so now let's get into some multitasking. Okay, um, now in iOS 7, multitasking has been um, basically reimagined and now supports true multitasking, which Android has had before. But um, apps are basically given priority based and it's given a brand new UI as you see here. It's like basically cards and it looks pretty good. I actually like it, but they should add a future like you should basically be allowed to like tap and hold and get all future uh, all of the apps um deleted from the multitasking bar. But the cool thing is you can swipe up. Also, you can do three swipe gestures up to get three apps bang. And yeah, it's basically like that. That's the app switcher for um iOS 7. So yeah, that's the app. Switcher. Okay guys, now let's go through all of the features of iOS 7 and um, all the stock applications and what they have rebuilt from the ground up. Okay, now um, let's start with messages, which is right on the top here. 
But as you can see here, it's a pretty bleak UI. Very, very simple. As you can see here, edit, go there, swipe to delete. It looks like mailbox for iOS, but more beautiful touches whatsoever. As you can see, the keyboard has been beautifully. It's so white and it's got a hint of transparency as well. And that's about it. So when you swipe here, it, if yeah, it's like that. So that's it for this. Um, and a cool thing is if you go Siri, it'll be like a voice thing now instead. And that's about it for messages. Now let's go on to uh, calendar. As you can see here, calendar is very, very simple. If you go June 2013, it gives you yearly view. And it's very, very minimal. And as you can see, clean. And they've got rid of uh, a lot of skeuomorphic elements like the leather patching and the... Uh, leather patching and what's not and also you can go inbox and yeah that's about it and go all the way to today if you're on that just goes today and I got Mike my okay and now another cool thing is going to photos and you can see here camera roll pretty simple but the new thing they've added is photos so like it'll be um, selected into moments click on here you can see where it is go into collection years and then you can swipe through all your photos like that it's very cool and um let's go into cameras also super fast and also turning hdr on is basically like just tapping that button just turn hdr on just like that it's making your hdr image swipe left for a um, video also go that way and then you can see that go back there also turn flash on and off very very simple it looks kind of retro I don't know and this is square photos for Instagram um, dimension so take a photo take a photo I like got HDR on so it takes a while so very fast if it's not and then obviously you go panorama and as you can see there's a nice blur transition between all of these effects and that's nice off oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that on iPhone 5 you can have live filters but I have a 4s so that's my testing unit so but you can do it straight away from here you go edit they've got some nice options now go ahead down to filters they got a wide array of filters as you can see here just apply and save and BAM you got a nice filter added to your photo how cool is that so let's go to videos and see what's being rechanged, uh, not much. It's pretty. It's just flatter, basically. iOS 7 is going through a flatter UI change, and yeah, weather UI has got a major redesign. You can see here. Let's go to Honolulu, Sydney. As you can see, it's a starry night. It looks pretty beautiful. Honolulu is mostly cloudy. It's partly cloudy here. Everything's it's cloudy right now in a lot of places around the world. And if we go info, you can see a beautiful catalog of all your weather and the time there as well. Also convert it to um, centigrade or Fahrenheit and also obviously you can add more. So that's the weather application. Uh, let's go to the passbook. Basically now you can go scan codes and you can scan all your codes you want. It's going like, okay. And so you can scan your codes and go to passbook and just like that you get it basically go to notes Obviously, this has gone to a flatter UI change as well. If we go to new go say hi. Hello And that's notes as you can see here very very simple and you can go delete note And just like that. Okay, let's go to reminders This has got a kind of a redesign not that much but it looks um, more like it's supposed to be looking like it's not skeuomorphic like when in iOS 6 it was like reminders which you find in real life but this is uh, more to a flatter UI obviously and sorry so it's schedule reminders you can obviously add from here show completed Got a lot of stuff here and then second of all oh, a nice addition to this as well is this clock app here it's actually live updating so this should work in more icons to come if Apple actually does something to more because I think they would release more um, 
app updates and all they should have more improvements by the time the new iPhone releases so let's click on clock and this is um, gone to a flat UI as well look at those green toggles very very minimal and simple here we see the clocks as you see there's like a layer of transparency here as we move down there's clocks coming and you can see the fading here so stopwatch start stop lap reset timer start and pause so that's clocks game center's got a major redesign like absolutely major well uh completely ran out of greenfeld and i'm pretty sure they have we click here it's like a bubble user interface very very nice looks pretty refreshing and that's about it for game centers similar it's going to itunes store and as you can see here uh, you can go through, you can buy music, movies, search, audiobooks, what not. You can, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Very flat UI as well in here. The App Store's got a major, it's not major, iOS 6 was more, was more major, but it was too laggy. This is more, much more flatter and simple. Let's go to top charts. And also a new thing is near me. You can show what's near you. Then... Uh, one new thing in iOS 7 is automatic updates. So now if you have updates, you don't need to go and click update. It automatically updates for you. And if it even tells you in the notification center which ones they have updated. So that's about it. Let's go into FaceTime. And it's just similar. Very similar. So that's about it for FaceTime. Let's go into phone. This is a very very beautiful UI in this case kind of looks like Windows Phone but Apple always makes everything better so let's go here sounds pretty cool and it's got a nice round interface there so you can press call and obviously you got voicemail let's go into mail oh no I got my personal emails in there Never mind. and um, that's a refreshing UI as UI change as well let's go into music and um, let's go into songs you can see here you can always go down delete it's got like a pinkish UI which I don't kind of like but eh, it's always a welcome future another stock app that has changed is cal calculator very very flat now you can see it's got a, like a dimension to it so when you tap you can see the layer going that way so that's always nice also, let's go to compass. Okay, complete the circle. Okay, let's complete it. I haven't used this, so let's just complete it quickly. I don't know what's okay. Here we go. It's calibrated. Uh, as we see here, it's um, that, and then there's like inclimeter. So if we move it that way, it's kind of buzzy at times, but. Eh. Always a welcome future, this one, so it turns green when it's good. And also, Stocks has got a redesign as well. It's just darker, it's like, yeah, not that much. And Newsstand, well, no one uses Newsstand. But the great thing in iOS 7 is that now you can put it in folders. Also, let's go into Maps. You got a pretty good redesign here. Looks very, very beautiful. Everything is great about iOS 7 except the icons they just kill me literally also um, another um, stock app that has been redesigned is Safari uh, it's all it's also pushed to a flatter UI change and let's go into here you can see all your books marks shared link reading list so let's go here for a tab UI let's add let's just go into a website techno buffalo it's favorite and basically let's let load we go down, 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 and it's very nice and clean. When you swipe down, it keeps on going full screen. So when you swipe up, it goes back, and then you can always swipe between tabs and close them. You can always move that up, move that down. That's always a nice interface. And that's um, all that is for the stock apps in iOS 7, guys. So now let's get into the settings app in iOS 7. So let's swipe. Go into settings kind of a funny icon I don't know why okay so you got airplane mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth everything quick from your access it's got a notification center swipe down 
Yo, Mist. You got your old Mist. All I don't have any notifications right now. And today it shows your weather. If you have any calendar, it shows your meetings. And it shows tomorrow you have no events. So this is basically like Google now. And it's very, very minimal. And it shows a hint of transparency there as well. So let's just go down. See today's summary view. Calendar day view. Reminder stocks tomorrow summary. And all that. And now let's get into control center. Let's access from the last screen. Do not disturb. If you want to do it manually. Schedules. Always. Do not locked. See, do not disturb on and off. You can always do it from here. Let's go into general. Just to prove that I am on iOS 7. Shows iOS 7 7.0 right there. Also, Siri. It's got a new change. Let's go here. What's the weather like today, Siri? It's got a beautiful UI here. So you can see you know, rounded. Here's the weather today. And very, very gorgeous indeed. Let's go back. Also, raise the speakers there. Your spotlight, text size, accessibility, usage, background app research. And now, this is basically when you have data usage, um, I mean, multitasking. You can choose when you want to refresh or not. So, to conserve battery life, you can do that. And usage is basically like that. And passcode lock is, um, looks kind of cool. Just go quickly. Two, 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 two. Now let's go lock. And now we should see here. Swipe there. Two, two, two. Just like that. Looks really cool. So it again. And it's like like a bubble UI now, kind of. I don't know why, but it gives you look. It looks very, very slick and nice. Let's go two. And just like that. Now let's turn it off. I don't really like passcodes for some reason. And go down, date and time, obviously that's new. Let's go to the new stuff. You want that, guys, don't you? So let's, that's similar. Brightness in wallpaper. Oh, this is a nice touch. Let's go into Apple wallpapers. Obviously, you can see all your stills. And also, you get dynamic wallpapers, which is basically like this. But it's live wallpapers. Let's go both. As you can see, there's like a fadeaway effect when you open and unlock. And now this is like live wallpapers now. Swipe. Let's go back wallpaper. And go down. iCloud's there, mail, contacts, calendar. Everything's basically be redefined a lot. And also now you have Flickr and Vimeo integration. Don't know how that will work, but same, similar as Facebook and Twitter. One thing I miss about... uh. Uh, notifications here is like quick Facebook, Twitter, and weather. Also, the carrier here has been updated, so you get dots now. And also, the battery has been updated. And um, now, Spotlight is not a home screen. You swipe down, bam, you get Spotlight. That's a new addition to iOS 7 as well. And yes, that's so let's take a wrap up of this guys so um this has been a great um software at least apple has changed up the game the software design taken some cues from android and windows phone but mainly this is a great and there are a lot of good things about this like it's very smooth very beautiful design is great features and the default apps but some things like the logos just don't fit in they're just insanely colorful but nevertheless this has been a beta version and it's version one so there's more to come from apple and we shall see more to see come in the path so thank you guys for watching this video please like rate and subscribe goodbye